Alrighty y'all, what's happening? We're here in my little shop that I just finished up. Ran some power to it, ran a couple different walls that I reframed. Added a couple little things in here, so figured I'd do like a little fresh background for uh, this video. I got a beer trim, I guess you could say. The flat razor at a place here in town. Cut up that hair so I look like a decent human being for a little bit. And we are talking about this right here. This is actually the bag that I carry for the 2020 Bassmaster Opens. And really you could use this for all co-angler events. I mean, there's really nothing that you have to use this for. It's not just like a co-angler bag. I mean, this is just a great bag to have. Whether you throw it in the bed of your truck, uh, throw it around your shoulder and take off walking the golf courses or any urban bank fishing you're doing or good saltwater bag so there's multiple multiple purposes for this bag so I'm flipping through here again and I don't see this bag for sale unfortunately and I know when I bought it it was on sale and I guess it could have been a clearance but it was $39.99 and I thought that was a great deal for this size of a bag so if we open the front pouch it drops down to these dividers and I have four 3700 box size boxes that I can stuff in there with dividers like I said so it makes for easy organization it is kind of a pain with it being on the side but that was a better design for this bag is what we'll get into so we've got a couple keywords on some of these but nonetheless obviously labeled them as such just to kind of keep organized and I knew I've been fishing the Kissimmee chain since I really started picking up rods and fishing so I basically kind of knew the baits I was gonna be throwing down there what to expect so I threw one together of swim baits, flipping baits, and trick worms, and another one just full of 10 inch and 8 inch ribbon tail worms. And my other two boxes were filled with moving baits, crank baits, spinner baits, jerk baits, things of that nature just to have. This bag also features two side pockets with good, decent amount of organization on them. So one side I put like gloves, beanies, buffs, things of that nature. And on the other side, I actually put snacks in that were easily accessible. So that's the same size pocket on that side. I'm a big snacker on the water, man. I'm always eating, throwing down trail mix, granola bars, fruits, whatever it is. Like I eat throughout the whole day. A lot of guys don't like to stop and take breaks. And I'm that way as well. But I'll make a cast, go down, get a handful of trail mix and keep moving. And I'm also one to take a lunch break. I know it's as funny as that sounds, but I'll legitimately take five to ten minutes out of my afternoon in the, in the afternoons if it's going slow and I feel like a break is good because sometimes a break is good man it gives you kind of like a, a half time stop and like a checkpoint for you to kind of eat recharge collect your thoughts and get back after it so I do do that on the back there's a little organization spot as well and it's pretty cool because it comes with almost like little racks. See those racks in there? And you can put spinner baits, buzz baits, and stuff in there, crank baits, whatever. And I actually used that spot but to put my AccuCall Econ tags, which is my cooling system. Um, cooling system I choose to use. I think it's the best one made. And I put those in there. I put my tags in the back of the bag. So when I needed them, they were accessible, ready to go for when I when I brought fish in, needed to throw a cold tag in their mouth. And then finally on top is awesome because it's deep enough for some storage. I'm able to put a 3600 for terminal tackle. And then I put my lure lock box, which is about the size of a 3600 as well. Medium sized lure lock box on top. So then I have all my terminal tackle right on top, ready to go. I don't have to worry about fix, fitting terminal tackle in these four boxes. I can file these and fill them to the brim with baits and then have my weights, hooks, everything else on top. And that's literally how I organized to go down there. <laughs> I legit still have the labels on there that I have. And it's super simple, man. Pick up and go. And being able to have all my tackle in a bag organized like that just makes it easier for me to take a plastic bag or something else to use as a cooler, whether it has the rest of my food and whatnot. Because I really can't fit... After you put... That was the other thing. I put, I put an extra shirt socks and underwear on this side just in case I got soaking wet because I did have jacket in the morning so I did have that in there so that kind of took away room for food and drinks and whatnot so having a bag like this being able to stay organized with everything gives me perfect amount of room to be able to like I said carry a little plastic bag full of food lunch whatever it might be so it's got nice handle grabs but it also has this shoulder strap which if you guys have ever fished a co-angler event it is so needed because sometimes you're walking what seems like five miles from the parking lot 
to the ramp or meeting up with your boat or whatever it is. So that bag right there is awesome, but it doesn't stop at just being a co-angler. It's a great bag, day bag, just to put stuff in for going on someone else's boat, going on your boat, or as I stated before, pond fishing, pond hopping, whatnot. I hope you all enjoyed that video, man. This kind of is going to be not the tail end of the Bassmaster Opens videos, because again, I still have the last one, which I'm going to be going over all the finances. And that video is going to take me a little while, because I too have to go through and organize all the receipts and everything, but I am excited to do that. So this is the second to last video. Again, make sure you stay tuned to the Bass All Year channel. Check out all the other videos of the 2020 Bassmaster Opener, I guess Bassmaster Opens Opener on the Kissimmee chain that we had down in January. I have, I have all three days now uploaded, plus this video, plus the one coming going over the finances and how much it costs to fish and compete in the Bassmaster Opens as a co-angler. So make sure you hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe. Stick around here to the Bass Your channel for more awesome videos. And until next time, we'll see you guys right back on here. Y'all get out there, stay safe, be easy. We'll see you guys on the water. Later, y'all.